Hi, welcome. So I have just had this box arrive. And as you can see, I haven't fully opened it, but I know it can get boring watching. So um, this is my Boxio uh, toilet. This size arrives is one of those little step stools for my van. And this is what I bought at um, the NEC Camper Show. Um, it's got my other water um, because I was waiting for this. I ordered it the Tuesday of the camper van show evening, if I hadn't found anything it was the show, um, at the NEC, the February show 2024. This finally arrived today. So what am I wanting here? Ooh, it's opening up. So I have got the shake with the hemp milk, the toilet up. Now, in the meantime, a family member has also ordered their Boxio, so one of these is for them. Uh, I don't know if it comes with a lid or not, I don't think it does. I'm just going to put that over there. Uh, that's the other set. So, as you can see, so you get your shaker box, which is available, which, yes, basically it is one of those plastic uh, toileting boxes. Uh, you've got your hemp, um, there are some holes in it, so I'm being careful because you can probably see the dust level. Yeah, uh, excuse the birthday signs, it's my birthday this week. Um, so that's that. And then this is, is the shining grace, as it were, with lots of interesting things. So. So what have I bought? I have bought one, the Boxio Up, not labelled, which is quite nice. So it means that instead of it being almost this height, it is actually a much more natural height. Um, apparently there should be some clips. Um, I don't know where those are, so they can clip together. Um, I haven't found them yet, so I will look for those. Um, post an update in the comments. Um, from one review so that the two should go together unless they were added extra. Let me just check. Um, I do not have the clips I saw in a review so there is no clips with the up um, to just check. No, that's annoying. The, there are no clips. Um, and I apologise if this seems I'll do a second overview as opposed to unboxing. But as you can see, so this is it here. Uh, again, it's got the two holes. Let's see if I can make that a bit more obvious. Two holes underneath there and there, um, so that you can probably put there. Ooh, what's this? I think that's the tap. So here is the tap. Now I could be getting customs charges because I got a little notification that custom charges may be applicable. Unlike the toilet which came by eBay, this had to come from the Boxio website that basically means it comes from Germany. So, um, not sure, that, that must be the tap hose. There's the fittings, so it's obviously, if you have a look there, you can see the same fittings uh, like there was for the Boxio toilet. Sorry. Um, I try to make sure that uh, my voice my mouth is clear so that anyone who has issues can at least fit through. So, there we go. So, what have you got for your money? So, I paid, I think I'm, I'll have to check, but it was around the 200 mark for all this. So, you get your two toilets, not toilets, you get your Euro box, which is the 40 by 30. You get two five litres from, no, five or ten litres. From memory um, tubs you get in this one you get your sink which obviously without the metal bits you can see the issue you're having unless you put the metal brackets in I paid the extra and I got the um, shower option so we'll see how that links in in a second and what's this 
So that's the shower head, if you can have a look. So that's the shower cable. Seal, so. Interesting, that one's got a cover over it. So, protecty thing, or no, so it doesn't. So that goes there. This is where the, yet again, I have not read the instructions. Ah, it unscrews. It's got the threads. And then you can see, so that's a nice touch. And that's one of the reasons I like it. Although it's black blocks, um, personally, I would prefer non-black. But let's see, you've then got this with your hose adapter. And uh, I'll do those in a second. You get your um, rubber hose with the washer so that that will go into the drain and you've then got your for the one you're carrying them you've got your sink um which again i presume will go like that definitely needs to fix those and then you've got some interesting bits of black plastic which i will look at next and some cabling and of course an instruction book i'm going to pause here and come back to it Okay, so if you have a look, it, oh, the first thing it'll ask me to do is to put the metal brackets in again. Remember, that's very easy to do. Uh, and then it'll ask me to put the plastic bits on the two sides, and that includes the the waste style. So that'd be an interesting one with the two holes putting into the um, fresh or the uh, the wastewater. So I think the two ones goes into the fresh. And then on this side, it's showing you how to put it up. Um, and then you've obviously got the waste doesn't need any piping. It's going straight in. Um, and then again, that's at the end. This then comes. Oh, I like the fact this is in multiple languages. So you've got all the, this one. Um, what's in your box here now? Obviously, you have to look for, so for me, I'm English, it's there, and then you've got the different bits on each language, so you can put what you put in there. More information in the Boxio. Um, sink capacity is 3.5 litres. The fresh water canister is a 5 litre. Um, it's up to 1.3 bar, maximum 2. It's a hand pump with integrated pressure relief valve and air release screw two-way valve tap um, there was somewhere in there about the temperature that it said um, let's have a look I just saw that a minute ago so it says max 40 degrees so basically it's hand wash there you go so uh, five liters hand wash um, although I saw another review and what they do is they just put some hot water in with the cold so I'll get the metal bits done and then we can do the next bit together and a reminder that when it goes in on the inside you've got the flat thread with the washer going on the inside of the box and on the outside of the box you've got the threaded screw i'll do that now so i've got the one there push it in this is another one there we go push it in and um, put the washer on. And then run. So it's not too bad to do. Uh, most of the time you don't get the issues with the screw. So that's the first one. Second one. And the threaded side in. Now, sometimes they do get a bit, and they need a bit of a push. Put the thread over it. This is where I forgot to do it the wrong way around so that you have it angled downwards, which is why the next side will be easier. So, as you can see, it just takes the washer up. Okay, that's that one there. And then the next set, yeah, reminded not to do this onto a fluffy carpet. Ah, that's because what it bags. So the washer in it. There we go. And so 
this side is what I'm saying. So you push it in the hole. Do whatever it takes to make the hole easier to find because it's black. See again, that was a bit snug that one. It doesn't matter. It's actually not a problem. Just wiggle it and get it through. And bearing in mind I'm a lady who um, my trunk's this okay. So again, it's easy enough to do as a hand push. Fine, and then we've got the last one where I don't seem to have the washer. It's going for a walk, so I'll find it later. But I don't want to delay anybody watching, so I'll push it in and we'll put this in. There's the washer, see, it's just at an angle. So now I've got all four of these um, pieces on. I want to take my sink pieces and remember this one is going to be my uh, I want the side that's the open side so I want this side the non hinge side so I want the because this is the hinge side if you can see that's the hinge side um, so I want that to be as per the instructions the hinge side needs to have the uh, main part of it and I want to now do this bit. So I want to find um, now there's two of these, and I'm not totally sure why which one is which. Um, it does have a warning symbol, it doesn't make it the clearest which one of these to use, except looking at here, it actually might use both. So you've got um <sighs> so. For this one, I want to take the fat and thin one with the big ring. There we go, so there's the ring and that one. And I want to push that one onto there. And I want to push the two black cables. I have three bits of cable. So you push the small one underneath. Click. I'm just going to check that the small one is the K, which is what it's referring to. Yes. And then you've got your two longer pieces, J, which then go, can you see the cuppy thing there? You see how it sort of sticks out a little bit? And then... Again, this is not the easiest to, to get on, so you might be better off. Or if you don't have the manpower, if you're, how would I mean manpower? I mean body power to put this on. There's one, and then there's the other. So once it's on, it's on, but obviously it's a bit of a pain. But I like this because it means it's extend replaceable if you need to. It'll be easy enough to replace it. I, I would prefer clear pipes, um, particularly for fresh water. So you can check there's nothing brewing in it. Um, because when it's not steamed by sunlight, you don't get the... So that then goes in here. Apart from the fact I haven't put the over one. So again... See how that then dips in, and that then goes on my bottle. Remember, I paid for this, I'm just a normal person, no freebies here. Okay, so now I've got this, I want to get my sink, and I, as per the instructions, I need to put one through each side. Oh, my sink is damaged. Did you see that? I will be writing to them and asking for a placement, but I don't know if you can see, but my sink is damaged. It's got a big crack in it. Let me see if I can show you better. There, can you see? It's not coming up there anyway. There it is. You can see it really well if I put the white behind it. 
so you can see it's got a big crack so that's not waterproof but i will keep making this up um, i'll get in touch with them and uh, see what i need to do to return the sink to get a replacement um other than that i'm really impressed so uh, that's, okay so i'll put that one in there okay so now i've got those in um, as per the instructions so i've taken the end and you take the black hose and what are we doing so we're taking that and we're putting is it this one it's not always the clearest with the instruction points uh, so the x is the black hose and there should be a smaller one oh yeah so you've got three different bits so you've got okay well then none of them then so you've got a black oh it's a plug see it's a plug you've got your mesh you've got your w and your x so i'm taking my x and putting it onto the um this there we go and then i want to put that onto there so again i'm going to have to keep um turning it round. So the instructions do. Oh, okay, this one's a bit tougher. But find which way around it screws, screw it back on. Now remember it's removable, designed to be removable so that you can easily reload your water and pack it away quickly. For those of us who don't need a full size sink, so that's that one on and then you take your hose and which side do we do the sink so if the sink is this way around i'm doing it that way and put that on as i said before i've got a leak i've got an issue with mine I need to reach them out so i'm pushing this on so it matches up to the the black so you can see there's no gap there and then that will go in there quite sweet and then the uh this goes on this one like here with the fat end at the top you push it down all the way in then you get your bobbly one and then you put that one in then you pull this back up to help hold it so that will and again, it's one of those ones where you can, and then just tighten it, or can you hear it's going in there? Tighten it up, and it's not. Okay, so that's my sink in theory operational. And then the only thing I need to do is to, as I have from the instructions, I can put in either this or this so you can't use both so you can either have effectively the tea strainer or you can have the little plug down side of that being back I can't really see that it's in um, but you can't use both so you have to choose whether you want the bits catcher or whether you want the thing um, it's, again it's a shame there isn't an option to put one of these there um, but I can use them on top of each other for now um, as you can see it stores like that it, it's not fixed or anything like that it's really loose but it means I know where they are for now um, and then I've just got my um, cable now if I do the shower what I have to do is take the to swap to the shower because I have to pull this off I think this is where I'm going to get very annoyed with this. Uh, oh no, it's not there, is it? It's not. It's not there. And you have to, is it unscrew this? Okay, pull. No, you pull this. And then you take this and push that in. So that's not as bad as I thought. So you don't touch this bit. You 
just touch this bit and again you pull and you push in. Okay, I'll go and get some liquid and I can show you it working. So as you can see, right, so to use it I have to take this off, I have to unscrew this. I'm doing this at a funny angle because I want to show you how it goes. You can see there's the black bit. I then need to put my water in. Yeah, I could have taken it to the sink, good enough, the tap could not have been easier. Oops, one litre. Disasters always happen when you're doing videos. I don't know if you can see, it's currently up to there, and now we're up to there. So that's a good amount, bear in mind. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in. I'm going to take my screw in. I'm going to, oh, there we go. So there's screw number one. It's come undone. So push this back in. I think it's one of those ones that once you get it in, it would be better. Uh, the other option is to look at those mini little screw clamps. Um, but the problem is that the black plastic thing is so low, it's a bit of a pain to pull up. Uh, I think there's also the other option is to push it all through. So the fat holes, not totally sure where I'm supposed to be put that one. If you know where this one's supposed to be go, please let me know. So, and then we've got our range on. Let's plug it in and push it in. Uh, Amy, over the sink because that could be a bit disastrous. Open it up. Well, I'm doing this just to check there's no instructions on how to actually pump it up because you know it's starting to get tough so I'm gonna tighten that up and I'm gonna do that and we'll see if it works oh I heard the um, thing so let's see And this is where you realise you've done something wrong. So is that plugged in enough at the top? Yes. Is that plugged in enough? Yes. Is that open? Yes. No? I can hear the difference. Can you hear it? Okay, let's try again. Let's check that I've got all everything incorrect. So that's plugged in, that's plugged in, that's screwed as tight as it can be. Um, okay, let's keep pumping until we get some action. That's unscrewed. Not doing well here. Let's try again. Okay, so let's see if the instructions say. And welcome to the operating instructions for Bosco. Watch this is a mobile sink, in box, with a fresh point point canister, and hand pump and water tap. By means of a hand operated air pump, an overpressure is applied in an integrated fresh water canister, which causes the water to flow. When the tap is open, the grey water is collected below the sink in an integrated canister. Canister. In these operating instructions, you find all the necessary information for conditioning use. Okay. Okay, this is starting to now get tough. Water does not flow from the tap. Let's have a look. Uh, 
no pressure, fill canister, tighten the closure, check the seals, tightening the air screw release. Nope, this is not working for me. in a second okay so do you see how much water there is in now yeah let's have a look check the seals while we're doing this so that one is pushed in that's fine that one is pushed in that one is pushed in there is that rubbery seal there so that's all there so that should be right So why have I put more water in? Because I know that um, from basic science I've done in the past, um, and looking at these, ah, something's going on here. I'm getting water coming up here, and it's coming out there. So let's turn that off. Okay, that's open. that close while you do this. Okay, let's try that. I can hear it bubbling, so something's going through. Is this where, again, I find the instructions for something? Well, could be. But nothing's coming out. So we're now 28 minutes in. Do you think I'll get something in before? Oh, okay, I've just pulled that one. Right, okay, so. I have got plan B if I can't get their system to work. But it will be annoying if I've paid for seeing how I'm really struggling. Okay, let's try that. No, I'm not getting... Hmm. Okay, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I've got the pressure right. I can... So, uh, release grid when it's open. It's shut. No pressure on the water canister. Fill canister. Okay, so, error. Water does not flow when opening the tap. Bubbling can be heard during pumping. The hoses of water tap and air pump are mixed up. Okay. Well, that was a bit, bit explosive, so, okay. Let's try that. Okay, so you can hear the difference in sound. get there before 30 minutes so yeah and obviously that's all instructions that's pretty good and what's quite good which you might not be able to see very clearly 
is that when you get that going, when it's on full, it can actually almost go in the hole. Which is really So that's the boxy wash. And again, if I want to swap it over to the shower. Okay. <laughs> when you swap over to the shower, don't be surprised if you get some wet stuff. Didn't expect that. So there's a wet job all there. I don't know if you can see the mess. But there we go. And now that's to the and the waistline. Okay, so pump it back up. Feel the pressure because it's hurting my fingers to do it. Turn that open. And then you've got the slimy hosel there so that you can have it off or on when that's open. It's got a little picture on and off. So it's good that you can kind of get the, the hose. Um, so then it's not like a little bracket and I could use that there and leave that one in. But that's really cool with that. So I'm going to learn and make sure I do that now I'm taking this off and it's going to get wet. I think with me I think I might have to get another box so that I can put, so the box here toilet can have this stuff in and that this one can have the shower stuff in and it doesn't matter if it's wet. Um, there's not a little point in there to put the, um, not a little hole in there to put in the gap to put the um, plug in there. So I'll have to make decisions where those two are gonna live along with this when it's not in use. But we've made it work. And again, could have done that I suppose but there we go so that's it thank you for watching my full unboxing and getting it working boxier wash you can see the height with the boxier toilet um, and I'll talk about that one later uh, thank you for watching and as always any likes constructive feedback um, I am a one-man person uh, it's me on my own I do what I can I try to put the um, information that I want from videos um, so please it costs you nothing uh, me a like for helping either show how not to do it um, for this long video thank you